Imagine controlling a robot with just your mind. It sounds like science fiction, but this unbelievable technology is becoming a reality right now. Tesla's Optimus robot in Neuralink just made an announcement that shocked the world. For the first time, we saw a human controlling a robot using nothing but brain signals. That's right, a brain implant that allows you to send commands to a robot without lifting a finger. So how exactly did this happen? And what does it mean for the future of AI, robotics, and even our daily lives? Let's break it down. Tesla's Optimus robot, a humanoid robot that's been in development for a while, is designed to help with everyday tasks. It can do things like move objects, perform simple chores, and assist with work. But what made the latest demonstration stand out was not just how well the robot could perform tasks, but how it was controlled through a Neuralink implant. This breakthrough allowed a human to control the robot in real time using brain signals. Brain signals, no joystick, no remote, just thoughts. Neuralink is a brain-computer interface that was created to connect the brain to computers and machines. It works by inserting tiny electrodes into the brain, which can then pick up the brain's electrical signals. These signals are translated by software into commands that can be understood by machines, like the Optimus robot. So in this demo, the person controlling the robot had a Neuralink device implanted in their brain, and the signals from their brain were sent directly to the robot's motors. This allowed the robot to move and perform tasks based on the thoughts and intentions of the person. This technology is absolutely mind-blowing, but why is it such a big deal? Well, for one, it's a huge step forward in how we interact with machines. Instead of using a keyboard or a joystick, we could potentially control complex robots and devices with nothing but our thoughts. Imagine someone who has lost the ability to move their arms or legs. They could use a brain implant to control a robotic arm or even a robotic exoskeleton to walk again. It could also help people with neurological diseases like ALS or paralysis. This could also revolutionize entire industries. Think about manufacturing, logistics, or even healthcare. In a factory, workers could control robots to move heavy objects or assemble products without physically touching anything. In healthcare, doctors could control robotic surgery tools with precision. There are serious concerns that come with this kind of technology. The ethical issues. If someone can control a robot with their thoughts, what's stopping others from hacking into that system and taking control? Brain hacking could become a real danger, and we'd need incredibly strict security measures to protect people's private thoughts from being stolen or misused. Then there's the issue of privacy. If we can control robots with our minds, what else could these brain-computer interfaces do? Could they track our thoughts? Could they be used to influence our behavior or manipulate us in other ways? These are questions that need to be answered before widespread adoption. Let's also look at the potential for future applications. Neuralink's technology could one day be used for more than just controlling robots. Imagine being able to download knowledge directly into your brain. You could learn new skills instantly or even experience things like traveling to different countries or exploring other planets, all in your mind. While the potential for Neuralink and Tesla's Optimus robot is exciting, it's also clear that we're entering a new frontier of technology that requires careful thought. The world is watching as we move closer to a future where thought-controlled robots are not just a dream, but a reality. But as we move forward with these innovations, we must ask ourselves, are we ready for a world where our thoughts and machines are so closely linked? That's all for now. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment to let me know what you think. More to come. See you next time.